Hello everyone, I'm John, this is Sean, All right. and this is Everyday Food Reviews and welcome to our first video that we are recording and uploading in 2022. Together. Together, yeah. yeah. And it's quite apt because we are going vegan. Yep, we've got the, the first meal. McDonald's McPlant. Yes. So this is something we're quite excited about. Um, they rolled it out last October, but only to select restaurants, none of which were convenient to, for us to get to. No. Manchester's not too far, but we'd have had to have parked in Manchester and got out and got it. Because it's, yeah, it's not, it wasn't the drive-through ones. No. I was hoping it was on the dual carriageway on yeah. the way in and out of Manchester, but it wasn't. No, it so was Oxford Road and Piccadilly. Yeah, So sure. Yeah, we've, we've got it today. And if you don't know, the McPlant is a vegan Beyond burger with vegan cheese style slice bun and sauce yeah vegan bun uh, it's got three sauces ketchup sandwich sauce which is the the um the stuff on the chicken sandwich and the the burger they do with the veggie strip things mm. um and mustard and mustard and it comes with ordinarily with lettuce gherkins tomato and onion yeah but you've got yours without tomato and lettuce yes um, I've got mine as it comes. £3.69 at the McDonald's we went to. Um, same price as a Big Mac and a quarter pound with cheese, which yes. is nice. It's not any more expensive. Not any more expensive. It does look a little small, though. It's a bit smaller than a quarter pounder. And this is what I mean, it looks like without. That's the size of it. Um, now, quickly, before we get into this, weirdly, so, well, obviously, I'm a weirdo. I'm getting so, a vegan burger without shredded, tomato, uh, shredded lettuce and tomato for a laugh. Um, now, when we obviously we do check our burgers occasionally because sometimes mistakes are made, and then I'm taking it off. Something that struck us, and I told you to smell it, didn't I? Mm. It smelled really weird. It's got a very earthy smell to it, like the, the patty itself, um, mm. which is something we might have noticed with the Burger King Rebel Whopper, if not for the fact that that wasn't even strictly vegan because it was grilled on the same grill as their yep. um, usual beef burgers which is why it tasted very much like a regular Whopper yeah. uh, because of the flavour imparted by that. The biggest difference with this apart from the fact that it's cooked completely in, in a vegan safe manner yeah. is it's got vegan cheese on as well which yeah. we haven't seen from no. KFC or Burger King or anyone else. We, no. We've not seen anyone. Well else. KFC just did vegan mayo and no cheese didn't they? Yeah. So. yeah. Um, I'm, do you know what? I might pull a bit of this cheese off. Obviously the cheese hasn't melted in such a way as well. No, Obviously mine not. would have been made fresh so It hardly tastes any more artificial than the regular cheese at McDonald's. Yeah. It's apart from the fact it's not melted. Do you know what? That's possible. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I asked Billy uh, in the Discord, because his girlfriend works at McDonald's, what, you know, obviously it's vegan approved, there's stamps all over it, vegan society approved. Uh, what is it they actually do? So he told me they get delivered in separate bags. Um, they are cooked in the same oven as they do the pancakes which I'm assuming obviously pancakes are breakfast, so they probably they must clean it and probably clean it um, and then cook the, uh, the plant-based patties. And, uh, and they have also have purple tongs. Uh, there must be other colors for other things just to stop any cross-contamination. Yeah, which is... So thank you, Billy, for that information. Yeah, cheers. Glad I asked. Should we dig in? Yeah, uh, just quickly, the, the cheese, uh, the, the consistency of it is just cheers. like... Cheers. Pretty much like regular processed cheese, apart from the fact it's not melted, but the flavour actually tastes like processed cheese as well. Um, so that's pretty good. I've had vegan cheese before and it's not tasted anything like what it's meant to. Um, this tastes pretty close to me, mm. which is nice. Uh, I'm, I'm a little bit wary that, like with, with what you said about the smell of it, I, I became a little bit wary um, thinking, why do they feel like they need all three sauces on that ketchup, sandwich sauce, and mustard? They, uh, and I'm thinking if it was just ketchup and mustard, it might be too much like a quarter pounder. If it was just ketchup and sandwich sauce, it might be too much like the Rebel Whopper. So I'm just thinking they've put all three on just because those are the three vegan sauces they do, so they might as well slap them all on there. Mm. But, but I, I don't know if that's a bit lazy. First thoughts, all together, it's not bad. 
It doesn't, it doesn't it doesn't taste bad. I would really like a fresh. I'd, I'd like obviously we because we've gone out and got these. I would like to try this a bit hotter, and if that smell is ever present, it seems to have calmed down a little bit. Um, almost comes across maybe like you say a bit earthy, maybe a bit nutty on the side, which is not which is not too uncommon for for vegan you know meat inspired products. Um, I don't know what the correct term was, I think, you know, or meat representation products. You know, you have like nut roasts and stuff at Christmas and, and stuff, don't you? So, um, I am going to pick my burger apart though a little bit uh, and taste individual items because the texture of the, the burger itself is, as, as we've come to expect with the meat uh, substitute burgers, which might have been the word you That's the one, thank you. Um, <clears throat> It's a bit mushier, and it's not as firm, but it doesn't taste like it's not beef. This reminds me of just a regular burger at the Wimpy, where I find their burgers tend to be a bit mushier. Mm. And in comparing it in a good, I don't mean it in a bad way, but the, the burgers they use in chip shops and burger vans can be a bit mushy. Now that, that sounds bad, but you need to remember we're talking about a vegan burger, so the fact it's comparable to any meat um, when they're trying to imitate meat, I think is commendable. Mm. You know what the cheese, the cheese reminds me of like um, like a smoked, is it Gruyere or Gruyere? I can't remember. Gruyere. Yeah, Gruyere, yeah. Uh, it reminds me of like a smoked Gruyere kind of flavor. Mm. It's got quite a nice little smoky taste. The whole, well, the whole burger has, so it might be something to do with uh, the plant-based patty as well. I don't know if you're getting that, but I'm getting that like quite smoky taste at the end. Do you know what? That's quite a strong, quite a strong showing in, in terms of the way burgers go. Yeah. Oh, bye. Yeah, I'm sure I've got some on my mustache. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm, I'm a big fan of this. Mm. I think the fact that it's nationally available at the same price as a quarter pounder with cheese, I think is great. Yes. I think what you said in the car is you actually like the fact that it was it was you know three pounds sixty nine. It's a bit smaller than a big Mac, but the same price. Mm. That I can get on with more than it being more expensive and that size or and smaller. Thank you. Like they had a double bacon barbecue stack or something as the promo item, and that I think was five pounds something. Mm. We looked we looked at that, haven't we? I think so. Maybe. Um, but yeah, for, for the, it's the same price. It's a bit smaller than a quarter pounder, but it's the same price, and you get all the salad that you don't get on a quarter pounder, which for, for me is a bonus. Um, I've been known to get a double cheeseburger and ask them to put lettuce and mayo on it. Mm. Um, I, I was really impressed. Yeah, I am I think, really impressed. I think it's a really strong showing. I think <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Because McDonald's is sometimes seen as the less premium option compared to like Burger King and KFC, especially when you look at price wise. Mm. I wouldn't, you know, what we always find with McDonald's and what we said constantly, I know we are, we've had a few issues with sauces since we said it the first time, but in terms of consistency, mm. they're always <laughs> probably the best. And they're available as well. They're so much more available. I don't I don't know if apart from the fact that there's more of them. There's KFCs and Burger Kings at motorway service stations, there's KFC and Burger King drive throughs but I don't know any of those that are twenty four hour. No. McDonald's not only are there more there's probably as many twenty four hour McDonald's as there are KFCs and Burger Kings 100%. at all. Mm. Uh, never mind all the McDonald's you have in the town centres and everything as well. Like the fact that this isn't any more expensive than any regular menu item or any regular extra value meal. No. And the fact that it's so available, that on its own is great. The fact that this is easily the best vegan item they've ever done, like the, the little sandwich with the two veggie strips in, it was fine, but it was just a bun with two veggie strips in. Yeah, you'd imagine vegans... 
and vegetarians would have the same issue with them as we have with our two chicken selects on a bun almost. Well, not, not even that. It's it, it, it's the, the there is that, but then there's also the fact that those veggie strips are just like a mixture of vegetables with some breadcrumbs around it. Mm. They're kind of a bit crap. Yeah. Um, you know, it's like they're kind of worse than fish fingers or something. And you're not going to McDonald's to have veggie strips or fish fingers, you're going to McDonald's to have a burger. And now there is one. And I think that's great. And I think this is the best vegan fast food product out there. And I think the KFC chicken, chicken substitute burger, whatever you want to do, KFC vegan burger, is a close second, but still not good enough to take the top spot. And the Burger King one, well, it's not vegan at all, so... Well, the, the Burger King one, I think the Burger King vegan chicken royale beats out the KFC chicken Oh, I forgot about burger. that. Yeah, I think that beats out the KFC that. Yes, okay, so but okay, so I'd say, if you want to rate all four... To be honest, I'd put the Whopper as number one, objectively. However, subjectively, it can't even be listed at all because it's not strictly vegan. Hmm. But in terms of flavour and quality, I, I'd rate that as number one because, again, it's it's the size of a regular Whopper and it tastes just like a regular Whopper. But the way they've achieved that is by making it not strictly vegan by the way they cook the, they cook it. So that aside, I'd say this is easily number one. I'd say McQuan, Vegan Chicken Royale, KFC and mm. the Rebel Whopper bottom. I don't even think the Rebel Whopper with us is that special. No, uh, I, it tastes good, but again, I, I, I don't think you can. I don't think objectively you can put it anywhere near the top, even if you're not taking on just because of that. But yeah, yeah. The um, but it's good. You know, I, I like this because, and you know, we've <clears throat> we've made many many comments before. You know, I'm probably never going to be a vegan because of just the way I, you know I don't like. I don't eat vegetables, I don't eat salad, you know, it's, it's a problem and, and I've said plenty of times, I'm not against it in the slightest, but the f but I, you always find that when, I mean, you can, I mean, it's completely different, but like electric cars, electric cars are going to become cheaper and more readily available and more convenient, mm. the more it, the more and more that the fact that Mac is have released yeah, but Mac this product will help accelerate veganism well veganism or vegan products at least to help everyone and the whole planet in general i mean fast food chains are kind of like the infrastructure of, uh, of food of people's yeah. diets yeah um, fast food chains and supermarkets it's uh, accessible and reasonably priced um you could say objectively you're paying a lot for what you get um but then you know that this is about convenience food that's readily available like if I'm driving on the M6 or something, or if I'm out in an, an office mm -hmm. working in town, I, I'm not going to be able to cook something. And yeah, you can cook stuff and pack it, but you know, it's uh, never I, convenient. Yeah, I, I wasn't gifted with that foresight, unfortunately. No. <laughs> um, the the vegan subway thing that we had was nice. The vegan meatball subway. Yeah, oh yeah, sorry, I forgot about that. Yeah, that's going back a bit, but that that was nice. I enjoyed that. Yeah. All right. Okay. I. I do you know what? <coughs> because of that, I would put that. I think equal top spot. Yeah. On the basis of. The fact that even if it, it you know, meat. Let's not make no bones by it. Meatballs are poor quality meat anyway. They're yeah. just rolled up. The subway. Shoved in a sauce, and the sauce takes away any bad flavours or anything like that. The Subway ones are especially mealy as it is. Exactly. So the fact, you know, so based on the sauce alone, and the, you know, it, it did taste just like a normal Subway because the sauce is vegan anyway. Well, it's typically vegan anyway because it's just a tomato-based sauce. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. That aside, though, this is great. It's really good. Um, if you're not, if, if you're vegan and still... Um, not morally opposed to McDonald's um, as, as a business, then I'd certainly give it a go. Um, mm. Even if you're not vegan and you go to McDonald's regardless, uh, I'd, I'd give it a go out of curiosity, um, but like we have done. Um, I think it's, yeah, definite strong showing. 
Yeah. I appreciate and, it a lot. Yeah. I think, would, would it be fair to say it's McDonald's first showing? Even after the vegan, the vegan veggie dipper burger? Yeah, I'd say that doesn't even count because it's, it's, it, it's literally two veggie dippers in a bun. Mm. I'm glad about that, no, because yeah. I'd like to say, you know, fair play to McDonald's, smashed it out of the park with your first out and out vegan product. Yeah, I'm sure that's what they were waiting for as well. Um, like, like Apple's business model, like they can have technology there and they could implement it, but they tend to. But they never release like, it until wait. they can make it the best that they can. Yeah, um, in 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 theory, in principle, that's what they say. Obviously, yeah. you can argue the toss about like just how true that is, but the the principle is they're not going to release it until it's ready to be released, and I'm, I'm sure that's what McDonald's were thinking. Like they could have rushed this. Um, oh yeah, they could have brought this out last January, like yeah. like KFC and Burger King did, or the, even but January before, wasn't it? So, they'd have been waiting for the for the um, availability of the stock and the infrastructure and the, the quality of the products. Um, is what is what I'd like to believe because um, I'm a positive person. Um, well, I, I think it was worth it. Yep. So yeah, I think on that note, it's time. It's time to end. Thank you very much for joining. Oh, before that. Uh, the, obviously the usual let us know in the comments if you've tried it what you think and if you've had anything even remotely comparable like this uh, <clears throat> and I'm even going to go as far as to like reach out and say if we, we do have any American viewers mm. um, let us know if, the, if if this looks remotely similar if you've what it's like over there you know is it any bigger is it any more expensive than your typical menu items and things like that we'd, we'd be really interested to find out stuff like that to be honest yeah um, we talk about it all the time anyway even on and off camera so yeah let us know everything you can but on that note it is time to end thank you very much for joining us we'll see you next time cheers